Hello, and welcome to another official instructional video from Hasbro Gaming. Today we're going to look at a new Monopoly game called Monopoly Speed, a version of the fast dealing property trading game. How fast is this game? Well, it begins and ends in under 10 minutes. It's fast, frantically paced, and really fun. The Monopoly Speed game can be played by two to four players ages eight and up. The game contains a game board, four plastic tokens, four dice, 28 title deed cards, 16 chance cards, 12 community chest cards, and a money pack containing 150 1,000 Monopoly bills. Then there's the timer. That's what keeps track of the game's four rounds. Once you set the timer, there is no looking back. You have to buy and trade before the time runs out. And, wait for it, everyone plays at the same time. But there can only be one winner. At the end of the game, the person with the most money wins. Playing the game is easy. You buy and trade in four separate rounds. Each round has a buying stage followed by a trading stage. The timer runs through all four rounds unless it's paused. My advice, don't pause it too much. If you do, the game won't be under 10 minutes and fast is always fun. So how do the stages work? The timer will signal the start of each stage. It will give you a warning countdown 10 seconds before the end of that stage and then a signal that ends the stage. You should not take a break between stages, because remember, you are moving quickly through the game. At the end of the fourth round, everybody counts their winnings to see who has the biggest wad of cash. And here's what is really crazy. You know how you've always been told to wait your turn? Not with Monopoly speed. With this game, everyone rolls and buys at the same time. And if that isn't wild enough, there are even two go spaces. Free parking is now a go space. Choose which space you want to start on, and collect a thousand Monopoly bucks each time you pass go. And because the Monopoly speed game is breaking all the old rules, you don't even have to go to jail. It's unlocked. You just keep rolling along. Now for the setup. Each player will start by taking five bills. There's no banker, so you're the bank. Then place the timer here. Place the title deed cards next to their matching board spaces. Now shuffle the chance cards and deal four to each player. No peeking at yours or theirs. Keep them in a pile face down in front of you. Put the rest of the deck back in the box. Then shuffle the community chess cards and deal three to each player. Put the rest of the deck back in the box. Take a look at your cards so you know which properties you'll want to collect to get bonuses at the end of the game. Then each player takes a token and a matching die. Choose one of the two ghost spaces and place your token there. Then get ready to roll your die. The youngest player may hit the button on the timer to start the game. The timer will count down from three seconds like this. Then listen for the zoom sound, which means the first buying stage has begun. Um, uh, sure. Now let's talk about how to buy. Everyone rolls their die at the same time. Move your tokens clockwise for the number of spaces indicated. Follow the rules for that space. If you land on an unowned property and want to buy it, throw one bill into the bank and take the title deed card. Then keep rolling, moving, and buying. And if you land on an owned property, just keep going. Roll again. Rent is free here. You don't need to pay. Once the timer indicates that the first buying stage is over, you will immediately move into the trading stage. The trading stage is where the real strategy comes into play. But think fast, kid, because you have to finish up before the timer makes a sound like this. Now for your chance cards and community chest bonuses. First, flip over your top chance card and read it. If the card says to do something immediately, then you have to announce it and then do it. However, if the card says you can keep it until you're ready to use it, then you may use it during the trading stage, keeping it a secret until you do. Sneaky, right? Make sure you discard after you use your cards. Be sure to take a look at your community chess cards because they may motivate you to trade for specific properties so you'll get bonuses at the end of the game. All players may buy, sell, or trade any properties, chance cards already flipped over, or community chest cards. This is the time to make deals that get you complete property sets or earn your community chest bonuses. Um, I'm gonna take... When the horn sounds, the stage is over. But as soon as you hear the zoom sound, the buying stage will begin.
worn out just watching these guys play. So how does the game end? At the end of the fourth trading stage, you'll hear the horn and then applause. This means that the game is over. Stop trading and count up your cash. Collect what bills you have left, cash in your title deeds, and remember to collect double rent when you own a completed property set. Finally, add any community chest bonuses you have. The player with the most money wins. And that's how you play the Monopoly speed game. Follow the rules, trade and buy properties, and above all, be fast. You have less than 10 minutes to do it all. Have fun and good trading.